everyone. So today for uh, our technique uh, class, you're going to need a chair. So go ahead and grab that chair real quick, and then come back once you're ready to go. So I want you guys to start by laying your belt down in a circle like this. Let me make mine a little bit better of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, we're going to start with our warm-up with just some footwork drills. We're going to work on circling. So you're going to kind of square yourself up, almost like you're in a, a horse stance. Um, and we're just going to be sliding around. And you're going to do this in random directions. Okay, so you move however you guys want. You start to circle. And then when you feel like it, you turn the other direction. And you circle like this. Um, notice how I'm doing a couple of things here. Number one, I'm keeping those hands up, okay? Uh, number two, I'm keeping the knees bent, eyes forward. I'm going to do this, you know, and, and uh, you know, like I'm moving, like I'm circling and sparring, okay? So that's going to be your warm-up. You're going to do uh, three one-minute rounds, okay? So do uh, a one-minute round and take about a 30-second rest, then do your next round, 30-second rest, and then your final round. Um, and then come back and I'll show you guys the next drill. Okay, get started with that. Hey guys, so we're gonna work on our side kicks first. Get that chair set up. Now, um, if the back of the chair is a little too high for you guys, you can turn that sideways. Uh, what we're gonna be doing here are slow side kicks, okay? Um, to really have good technique, you gotta be able to do a kick slow. Okay? Anyone can throw their kick up fast, but it's not controlled. Okay, if you can do that kick slow, you're going to have really good fast kicks as well. Okay, so if you need to turn it sideways, basically what we're doing is we're going to do a slow side kick and down. Okay, I'm going to kick over the top of this chair. Um, let's do a couple of these together, then I'm going to let you guys go at your own pace after that. Okay, so what we want to focus on is um, you know, getting that body nice and tall, back straight. My back foot, I'll try, actually turn sideways for you guys, is turned away. Okay, if that foot is forwards um, uh, or straight to the side or forwards, that tends to open up your hips, which makes your toes go up. We want those toes sideways. Take that back leg, turn it away. Okay, so chamber, kick, rechamber, down. That's about the speed you want to go with this kick. Okay, chamber, kick, get that leg totally locked out. Okay, if you guys are kicking lower, that's fine, okay? Um, if you can only kick, you know, barely above that chair, that's totally fine as long as you get that leg locked out. Okay, that's the most important uh, part of this drill. Okay, let me do a couple facing forwards here for you guys. Okay, so again, that body is turned sideways, chamber, kick. Look how I lock that leg out, rechamber, down. Okay, so you're going to practice on your own now. Um, do uh, a set of 10 on each leg, 10 right, 10 left. Take a little break. You're going to do three sets of that. Okay, get going. Okay, guys, hopefully you're all done with that set of slow side kicks. So now let's work on those fast side kicks. So again, we're going to use this chair. Be careful. I don't want you guys accidentally kicking that chair, hurting your foot, hurting your leg. Um, so now we're simply going to do the same thing, but we're going to snap that side kick out um, with each rep. Okay, and hopefully your technique's a little bit better by doing those slow kicks. You know, you've developed a pathway for those muscles to follow. Okay, so again, we're gonna snap that side kick out as fast as we can. So same thing, we're gonna do uh, 10 on each leg, that's a set, you're gonna do three sets of 10. Fast side kicks, be careful, don't take that chair. Okay, get going. So we're going to be continuing with those slow kicks, okay? Um, we're going to be doing a front kick and a hold. So I want you to actually throw a front kick, hold it out. And you're going to find this one incredibly tough, okay? Um, it's going to be working all these muscles right in here. So the height isn't that important, okay? The main thing is that you get that leg locked out and straight, okay? Even if you're kicking, you know, below knee level, that's fine. We're going to hold it out for about five seconds. And then we're going to do a tiny little rest and we're going to go on to the next one. So let me demonstrate a couple for you guys here, okay? So start slow. Chamber, kick, and lock that leg out. About five seconds. Three, four, five. And relax. And then we're going to switch legs and do the other leg. Same thing. We're going to chamber and kick and lock that leg. You should feel all these muscles tightening right here. Three, 
four, five, and relax. Let me do one face in the camera here. Okay, and again, we're gonna kick and lock that leg up, make that leg totally straight, just five seconds, and relax, and then other leg. Okay, we're gonna chamber and lock that leg out. Even I'm hopping a little bit. And relax, okay, just five seconds. Um, uh, per side, practice this drill about three to five minutes, okay guys? So go at your own pace, and again, height is not important. Make sure that leg is straight and you're holding it out, okay? Go ahead and begin. Okay, so the next drill is gonna be uh, doing a rear leg roundhouse kick hold, okay? So, um, you know, again, with this one, the height is not that important. Get your balance first. Then if you feel like you can, raise it up a little bit. So we're gonna take that rear leg round, we're gonna hold it for five seconds. So I'm gonna bring that leg up, kick, leg out straight. One, two, three, four, five. Land in front and then step back with the other leg. Okay, now that other leg is gonna come up with that rear leg round. I'm gonna hold that leg out. So I'm gonna bring that leg up, kick, and hold that leg out. Two, three, four, five, and if you hop a little bit, that's fine. Just try to regain your balance. So notice how I'm switching on each, after each kick, right, left, right, left. I'm gonna throw that rear leg around. Okay, get that leg locked out. I'm hopping a little bit here. There we go. Four, five, and then other leg. Ready, and we're gonna kick. Two, three, four, five. Even if you have to kick super low, you know, you kick here. That's fine, you guys. Look how that leg is straight. You know, that roundhouse kick is perfect. That roundhouse kick position is perfect. Okay, just like before, you're gonna practice this um, three to five minutes, and then come back for our next drill. Okay, here you go. Okay, guys, so the next balance drill, this is called a one-legged toe touch, okay? So what you're gonna do is choose a leg that you wanna balance on. Okay, I'm gonna be balancing on my left leg, that means I'm gonna lift my right leg off the ground. Now, I'm gonna take my right hand, bend over and touch my left leg. Let me show you guys here. I'm gonna bend over, touch my right or my left foot. So my right hand to my left foot, and then come back up, I'm still balancing. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna bend over, okay, I'm gonna touch that foot, and I'm gonna come back up, okay? Balancing the whole time, I haven't dropped, I'm gonna try to do five of these. I'm gonna bend over, and then come back up, that's three. I'm gonna bend over and back up, that's four. And one more time, I'm gonna bend over, touch that foot, and five. Okay, and I'm gonna switch feet. When I do this, I'm gonna, let me give you guys a side view. Okay, notice how, um, you know, this time I'll have my right foot down, which means my left hand is coming down to that, uh, that right foot. Um, I wanna bring my opposite arm up. I'm gonna kick that leg back as much as possible. Those kind of help me to balance. Okay, so I'm gonna start by lifting that left leg. I'm gonna bend down, I'm gonna touch, and come back up. I balance, I'm gonna bend over, I'm gonna touch that foot and come back up. Again, I'm gonna bend over, touch that foot, back up, I gotta do two more. Ready, four, and last one, five. Okay, so you guys have to do 15 on each leg. You can do sets of five, okay, or you can just do all 15 in a row. However, you guys have to to get it done. Okay, get going. Okay, guys, so we got a game here called Circle Tag. So for this, um, you know, I just simply laid a belt out like this. You really can use anything. You know, if you have like a little ottoman, you can use that. Um, you know, pretty much anything that you can put on the ground and circle around. You also need a partner. I have a partner right here. And you're both going to get into a, a stance here. You know, you're kind of squared up. And uh, it's a game of tag, basically. But you can only circle. You can't run after your partner, okay? You also can't cheat and step through the circle, okay? You have to circle around and tag them. So if I'm it, I'm going to try to get Mr. Sapping Field here. So I'm going to circle, and if I can... and I can instantly switch, try to catch him off guard. And if I switch and tag him, he's in now. So he's gonna try to tag me. Oh, and he got me, I can tag him back. Oh, we gotta work on them tag backs. Oh, 
Okay, guys. So the, uh, the bigger the item that you're circling around, the more difficult it is to get to your partner. You know, if that item's really small, you're going to be tagging each other a lot. So decide how you want to play it. Um, that's how we play circle tag. Okay? Good job.